Catherine of Sky, and here with a tiny bit of production to increase pollution to get some more natives killed. Uh, yeah, I ended up building a little bit of pollution over here so that these uh, nests would generate a tiny bit more biters. And um, yeah, we could get this thing going a little bit faster, but it wasn't fast enough. So I traveled out here to the right-hand side here. Oh dear. Cat, please refrain. Emma, Emma, Nye. Nye. Oh dear. Can I pilot my character and deal with Emma? I don't know. Kitten. No, no. Refrain. Anyway. Cat. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hold on one second here. I'll let you watch the biters and remove my kitten. Kitten. Get down. Get down. No, no. Nye. Okay. Sorry about that. I apologize. Kitten is not allowed to eat the little plastic mat that is covering my laptop. Okay, so what I did is I, I I found this much bigger nest. We're out here right now um, by a lot of other resources. Damn, this map is so good. It really is nice. So um, I kind of, maybe I'll get to use it uh, when, the, when the full Die World comes out. I'm very excited about that, Die World Dynamics. And um, anyway... We're just going to kill a few more of these, uh, of these natives. What I did here is I put one turret as the lead turret. Because I noticed that when I had a whole line here, they would all shoot. And that wastes many bullets. Whereas these things have... I don't even know if I can see the HP. They run so darn fast. Let's see. Can I do shift space? And not target them. No! <laughs> anyway, but uh, I don't know how much HP they have, but I don't think they need five bullets each. So this was a little bit better of a solution just to have a lead turret and then a, I don't know, a group of turrets that would kind of protect uh, me as I am hiding behind them, cowering like a, like a, I don't know, like a coward. Yes, cowering and coward. I guess that's the same root word. But anyway, I have no idea what the HP is. I'll probably look at it later. But here we are. Commander, watch out! Incoming! Thank you for playing Phase 1 of the development of Die World Dynamics Story Mode. The game is now complete. You can keep playing, but no further stuff will unlock. Next phase of development is Phase 2, obviously, which will end with a closed beta. To apply for this, react with a thumbs up reaction on the pinned post in the Die World Discord announcement channel. 20 people will be selected once Phase 2 is complete. Now, the um, Discord link for... Uh, the Die World Discord is in the description below, so check it out. Go to the Discord, and you can also make suggestions. I think that's probably in the next bit. Let's see. Furthermore, a few channels will be created for this story mode. Contribute with suggestions, stories, or help by translating or making art graphics for it. Endless possibilities to help. Also, I, I really, really want to make a plea for any people who are our artists. Uh, Die World is an amazing, amazing mod pack, and the only thing it really lacks is nice graphics. So if you have any talent whatsoever at all, please, please help. Um, it's it's an unpaid thing. It's a volunteer thing. But man, so many people will be enjoying this mod pack because I love it. And I can't wait to play it once it's out again. So anyway, aw, thanks to Catherine of Sky for spotlighting this. I hope she and her viewers enjoy what currently is done, but stuff might change throughout development. That is so sweet. Thank you so very much for that. Wow. Um, anyway, I I have been excited about Die World, and um, yeah, this new version is just so good. Okay, objectives updated. Next phase available. <laughs> Kill many, many, many natives. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so basically we are not, we, we don't get anything else, I don't think. Yeah, we just have the basic stuff here. But anyway, I have really, really enjoyed uh, playing this. I think I'll just leave these turrets here until they run out of ammo. And the uh, the biters can come and come and get the base. I kind of doubt that this will be compatible with with uh, Die World, but maybe we can save the map and use it for when uh, that comes out. Anyway, go over to the Die World Discord, uh, add your suggestions for what you think the story should be. Hello, what happened here? Uh, this looks scary. What happened? Oh no! Did something eat my base? 
Oh God, look, all the trees are dead. No, oh no, we were in the wrong spot. Oh dear, oh, Some, something happened here. Should I reload the game? I feel like I should reload the game and see what happened here. This is not good. This, 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 this I should, I'm gonna reload the game. Okay, let's reload the game. Load. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna kill stuff. The, the other bit over there is gonna kill stuff. Did, am I gonna die in this? Wow. It flattened the whole map. What the heck was it? I wanna see what this is. Oh. Okay, while that's waiting, while we're waiting for the, the enemies to die. <laughs> um, yeah, go over to the Die World Discord. Do you have ideas for a story? What what can happen in this story? And um, what is the commander like? What is his personality? His or her personality? Uh-huh. Uh, like, you know, what is Koika like? And... Um, you know, how do you want to, like, continue in the future? Obviously, my little turrets were not enough here for this. Let's go and get some more bullets and see. We can put, a, we can put two more turrets for something that's a world flattener. Mm-hmm. Yes, the futility of it all. Oh, dear. Let's see. Uh, I really appreciate the shout-out to Dysok. That is so nice. I, I wasn't expecting that at all. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's. Oh, yeah, that's right. This the I I added autofill or no fill for me fill for me. So that's in our mod settings here, and it has a map thing, but you don't need to do this. You can do per player here. I kind of wish that you could disable fuel altogether because I don't really care about fuel. But uh, I just did a hundred and fifty uh, rounds. I think they're rounds because it's individual bullets. But I, I don't think it's going to matter. Oopsies. Let's get some turrets. No, I don't have enough for turrets. Limestone and pistols. Let's see. 23, 25. Let's see. Let's grab some of this. Limestone. I don't think this is going to matter. <laughs> I don't think this is going to matter at all. This is not a thing that matters. I wonder if we're going to get, like, completely eaten if we stay here. I, want, I just want to spam these turrets all over the place. I don't know where this thing is coming. Probably it's just some world eater or something that's just going to, like, eat us. I don't think there's going to be fighting for this. This reminds me of that Star Trek episode. The one with the guy and Deanna Troy getting annoyed by the music box sound and... That guy was on a number of Star Trek episodes, actually. TNG. Um, but yeah, the one um, where, like... Oh, no, no, it was the Data one. Well, actually, they both had the same kind of enemy, actually. The whole, like, destroyed from space thing. Alright, so what's going on here? That stuff... This seems to be no longer functioning. Did they eat those? They might have eaten all those turrets. That could be... Hmm... Because it doesn't seem like we're destroying many stuffs anymore. I wonder if it's... No, there they go. There, they're firing. Yay. Oh, no. This one, the biters might have... The the chunk might have fallen asleep because we're not close enough. Oh, I don't want it to fall asleep. No. Let's get closer to this chunk. But I don't want to stray too far from the base. Otherwise, we're not going to see what ate everything. Oh, I want to find out about this. No, it's the whole, you know, those people. It was the water colony where Data goes down because some kind of special ionizing radiation or some such thing. And he's, they're like, oh, yes, we're just going to fight those aliens whenever they come. And Data's like, well, you know what? They're not going to give you a chance to fight because guess what? They're just going to destroy you from orbit and you're not going to have a choice. Okay, we need this chunk to wake up again. Hello? There's no pollution on that chunk, so I think that's probably why uh, it fell asleep, maybe. 6, 80, 85. Okay, there, it woke up again. So let's hurry back, hurry back. No, too fast, too fast. Nanobots kill everything. Oh, huh. wonder if there are issues there with uh, fill for me. 
That's interesting. Huh. Oh, it's the cliff. Right. Okay, so apparently there was a cliff under there that I tried to destroy accidentally. And, uh, yeah. Because, oh, oh dear. Okay, here it comes. We saw this. What happened? Hello? <gasps> no! Oh, no, 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 no! Death from the sky! Oh. I see. I see what happened now. There's a thing here. Let's respawn. We can't see what happened here at all. Oh no. It's a wave of destruction. Maybe it's that energy thing that happened here. That's crazy bad. All right. Well, okay. We got killed. We uh, we're going to respawn with nothing. It didn't do much damage to the spaceship though. Well, a bit, a bit, definitely a bit. Because it killed off some of our space parts as well. That's a shame because I like those parts. I want my ship to be a testament to the landing properties of the us. Wow. We did get killed. Can we have our body back? Hello? Body. Is it here? Item on ground? No. No, those are tree bits. Hmm. Where the heck is my body going? Shoot. Let's see, if I change to blue, slash color blue, uh, does that change the color of my body as well? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my body got destroyed. It might have. I don't know if it counts as a chest. No, there it is. There I am. There's the dead me. Hi, me. Let's mine you. There we go. Boom. Wow. See, life is clearly worse right now. Put this in... This is sad. I really liked our factory, but on the other hand, we can get to see the new graphics for the destroyed stuff. Look at this. See, there's like multiple varieties of dead inserters. That's kind of cool. Turrets. Mm -hmm. Power poles sadly hanging over. Like a, um, yeah, a painting that I can't remember the guy whose name. Uh, the saggy bits. What the heck is that art artist called? Goodness me. Anyway, lots of destroyed bits. It's kind of cool, though. Look at this. Little arrows sticking out. Aww. Destroyed belts. All the things. All the stuff. Mmm. Sad times. Even the bricks are just knocked over. But I like I like that there's like some sturdiness in the base of a kiln. That's what, it, what you'd expect, though, you know? You'd expect this kind of a destruction. The crates are very unhappily destroyed as well. No ghosts, of course. Oh, sad times. Very sad times. Mm. All right. Well, I think we must bid our factory goodbye. Did anything survive over here? Might have done, actually. Let's see. Uh, but a fair bit of... Oh, no. Not even our steam plant survived. Oh, sad times. Wow. So what is this thing? Holy fuzzy cats. Look at these. Even the arrows are in disarray. Rough times with that. Okay, so more turrets didn't help. <laughs> Strategy-wise here. No, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Is there a variation on these guys? No. No, those are the same. But that's okay. But I do like that some of the things have variants to destruction. That's quite nice. Very, very nice. All right. That's it then. I think we're pretty good with this episode. Again, go to the Die, Die World Discord. The link is in the description below. Um, and you'll find many channels there. Share your stories. Sign up for the closed beta. And you will get a chance to test this. And uh, I've had so much fun with this. It's just been great. I uh, got it. Awakened my interest again in uh, in playing this mod pack. I didn't get to finish my run the first time around, um, but hopefully I I will get to do it soonish whenever it's out. But yeah, there's going to be um, several different uh, testing phases, and then the mod will be available to the public. So. Anyway, I think that's going to be it. Thank you so very much for joining me. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe to be informed of new videos. It is very, very much appreciated and helps me out a great deal. Remember to check out my KOS and Factorio merch and make your way to our Discord server to chat about the game, share ideas, and play on our community server. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.